Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will discuss how YOLO v2 was able to perform object detection for 9000 classes. This video is a continuation of my previous video on YOLO v2. We discussed about the nuts and bolts of YOLO v2 object detector and how it fared against the competition in the previous video. In this video, specifically we focus about the 9000 classes object detection. So what is the mechanism they have used for detecting the 9000 classes? Let's dive into it. The aim of YOLO 9000 is to detect objects of 9000 classes. This is an object detection task we are talking about. It's not a classification. So we need to draw the bounding boxes like here for each and every category. So for 9000 categories, we need to detect the boxes. At the time of YOLO v2, there are two prominent data sets for object detection. One is Pascal VOC, another one is COCO. Pascal VOC has 20 classes, whereas COCO has 80 classes. And people started moving from Pascal VOC to COCO as it has more number of classes and also it has more objects per image compared to Pascal VOC. But these are very small numbers compared to 9000. So how the hell did they detect 9000 objects? Where did they get the labels from? If you see labeling the data for object detection is way more time consuming than that of classification. For classification, we simply save one particular label for the whole image. Usually it will have one or maximum two objects in a particular image. You just say what is the category. But for object detection, you need to draw the bounding box also. You need to locate the object where it is present in the image. So the task aims at identifying all the objects along with the locations. This is how you need to label the location information. X and Y coordinates and width and height of the box. Like this. So this information for every object present in the image, we need to annotate. If we have more number of objects in an image like this, here we have almost 30 to 50 objects available. Similarly, there are some images where you have hundreds of objects. If you want to identify, if you want to tag, annotate all these hundreds of objects, it will take a lot of time. So getting 9000 classes for object detection is a very big task. In fact, YOLO 9000 doesn't have these labeled images for 9000 classes. They have only labeled images for COCO dataset. Then how did they train an object detector for 9000 classes? As we have already seen, ImageNet is a huge dataset for classification. It has 14 million images, almost it has 22k classes, 20,000 classes. But it is only having the class labels. It doesn't have the box information. Can we use this classification data for our object detection in some way? This is the COCO dataset for object detection labels. And this one is ImageNet with only classification labels. Is there any way we can combine these two so that we can train an object detector without these many labels? Just think about it. Coco dataset has labels like this. Cat, dog, car, person, like this. These are very high level categories. Whereas ImageNet has more fine grain classes. If you see these are German Shepherd, Terrier, these are actually dog breeds. And Persian Cat, Egyptian Cat, these are actually cat categories, varieties of cat. So ImageNet has more finer labels, whereas the Coco dataset has coarse labels. How can we combine these two? We know that these three still belongs to the dog class. These two still belongs to the cat class, right? So if you can create some kind of hierarchy so that these are actually subclasses of the main class cat, then it forms a tree structure like this. That is what they have done with the word tree dataset. These blue circles are actually Coco dataset labels and red ones are actually ImageNet dataset. So they have actually grouped these kind of, if you see, these are all different types of aeroplanes. So these categories are available in ImageNet and it is assigned to a label which is its parent class that is actually from the COCO dataset. So they trained Darknet 19 model which is used in the YOLO v2 on this particular dataset, word tree dataset. So this is still a classification task as of now. It's not an object detection task. What we are doing is out of the total ImageNet dataset, whatever the thousand classes we generally use for ImageNet training, to those we have added the intermediate nodes from the COCO dataset which creates the total tree structure hierarchy this has 1369 labels. So from 1000, it has increased to 1369 labels. So Darknet is trained on this word tree dataset, which has 1369 labels instead of the ImageNet dataset. There is one more change to the training. Usually we consider softmax layer, right? If you see here, the ImageNet, all the 1000 classes has a single softmax layer. That means the total probability score should be equal to one. And the class with the highest probability score will be your final prediction. That is what you generally do in case of classification. But in this word tree example, you have actually overlappings. If you consider this one, these are all aeroplane categories only. Whether it is a biplane, jet, airbus, all these things. If it is a biplane, that doesn't mean that it's not an aeroplane. So these two are overlapped. So we cannot use a single softmax function here. 
they have actually considered soft max for every group let's say i have a dog breeds so german shepherd husky all these are still a dog right so if i can group all of these things and take the soft max across the all the dog categories if you look at this structure you take the soft max here you take the second soft max here and you take the third soft max here so for every group of objects you take one soft max individually and one more change is the conditional probabilities so if you consider the classes which are exclusive then you need not to worry about this conditional probability but if you see according to the tree structure we have the dependencies so we need to identify whether it is a mammal or not provided that it is an animal category because this is the parent and this is the child node if it is an animal then only it can be a hunting dog right if it is a hunting dog then only it can be a terrier or some other category so here instead of calculating directly a probability for this terrier category we are actually calculating the conditional probability for the whole tree to get the final probability score because everything is linked together via tree structure now with these additional classes with the 1369 classes they are able to achieve 72% top 1 accuracy and 90% top 5 accuracy these are still good very good figures even with the addition of classes and the hierarchy now there is one issue if you have multiple soft max how do you get the final class prediction which category will you take because if you have a single soft max you generally take the class with the highest confidence score but if you have multiple soft max layers at individual stages you get multiple scores so there can be a same score for multiple objects also how can we do this we have a tree hierarchy here why don't we traverse the tree in the same way how we are traversing so you start with the parent node and then you check the the next group which is having the highest probability score that branch you take and then inside the second out of those chains which are is having the highest probability score that particular branch you traverse like this so you navigate like this till you get the leaf node should i consider the leaf node as my final class in every prediction no right let's say i got a 0.1 confidence score for this biplane i cannot take this prediction with only 10% confident that as my final prediction right so there should be some threshold in the confidence score so let's say i am keeping 0.5 as the confidence threshold i will compare at every node location also if i am starting from here i am traversing like this at every node location i will still compare whether this is greater than 0.5 or not then only i will proceed forward if something is less than 0.5 then i will not go further i will actually stop here only this diagram should make it clear if you consider this is my root node the probability score is 0.95 it is greater than 0.5 so it is fine then in the next group here i am having the animals with the 0.75 the highest probability score and this is still greater than 0.5 so this is fine this is valid now this animal has another subgroup here so i will come to this subgroup and i will take the maximum confidence score which is for dog so this 0.8 is still greater than 0.5 so this is fine i will consider this now this dog has many subcategories again out of this this hunting dog has the highest probability with the 0.63 this is still greater than 0.5 so i will consider this and then this might have many subclasses out of which sight hound has the highest probability but this is less than 0.5 so should i consider this no this should not be considered instead this should be considered as my final class so this is my final class which is a hunting dog so i am traversing here like this like this like this here it is fine greater than 0.5 here it is fine greater than 0.5 here it is fine greater than 0.5 and when i traverse here this is less than 0.5 so i will not consider this i will consider its parents class this is my final class so this is the class i will use as my final prediction this kind of classification has some benefits performance degrades gracefully on new or unknown objects let's say this sight hound is a new object i did not see this much in the training so that's why this confidence score is very less so instead of predicting the sight hound with less confidence i will still say it is a hunting dog because it is still a hunting dog right so my final prediction i will give hunting dog with high confidence so this is how the word tree dataset worked and this is how this was trained on darknet 19 dataset for classification task and then they took the whole imagenet dataset the top 9000 labels from the imagenet dataset and they clubbed with the coco dataset to get the final dataset word tree dataset with 9400 labels that is why the name 9000 yolo 9000 because the final object detection this is actually object detector we are talking about now till now we spoke about classification now the object detector 
we are clubbing the coco labels with the boxes and the top 9000 image net labels with only classification scores with the total combined watery data set and now this one you can see only few categories will have the bonding boxes because coco has only 80 categories which has bonding boxes but because of that tree hierarchy if coco says that it is a dog with the bonding box if the classification says it is a german shepherd then the same box will apply to german shepherd also right so that way it will reuse that and one more change is as it has more number of labels now so we need to predict the classes for all of those and we need to predict the boxes for all of those anchor boxes have been reduced from 5 to 3 so the original yolo v2 used five boxes but here for this 9000 training they reduced to 3 and they have trained the yolo 2 object detection architecture it's not the classification it is for object detection but if i have only few categories which have bonding boxes how can i do training because some images have boxes and some images doesn't have boxes how can i handle this in the training simple if any box let's say this is from coco dataset so it has bonding boxes if it has bonding boxes then back propagate the whole loss whatever the detection and classification loss in the yolo v2 total loss will be back propagated but if something is coming from the imagenet dataset which doesn't have a box which has only class information then you propagate only the class loss adjust the weights of the models in both the cases but here with respect to the total loss and here with respect to only classification loss so it's actually joint training for both classification and object detection dataset it will actually try to learn the bonding boxes for even the classes which doesn't have the boxes because it is still a flower class so in coco if there is a flower with the bonding box like this it still this these weights are getting learned like this so automatically even with the image net dataset without any labels it can still predict the box let us look at the results if you see this instance we have two dogs here okay one is german shepherd another one is husky first question is does this belongs to coco dataset or image net dataset my opinion is that it's from the coco dataset because it has two objects generally in classification you have a single object with a central location right so if it is from the coco dataset it doesn't have this siberian husky or german shepherd it has only dog category both are dogs now because of this joint training we are able to get the finer categories also along with the box this is the box of the dog it is learned from the coco dataset and these labels are learned from the image net dataset if you see this one also this is actually a dolphin class and this is a person we don't know whether she is a skin diver or teacher from the coco dataset in coco it should have only given the person category but because we did the joint training it was able to identify that she is actually a skin diver and this is actually the type of dolphin but there are some categories which are not available in coco dataset even the parents also like the dog category is not there so these things doesn't matter so like that there are some categories in the image net dataset for which there is no corresponding category available in the coco dataset like this mushroom there is no mushroom category in the coco dataset but image net has these mushroom categories so that's why you can see the box is not proper because there are no boxes corresponding to mushrooms in the coco not even anywhere in that tree hierarchy so there are 156 categories like this in the total dataset which doesn't have any corresponding class in the coco dataset so these are the top performing classes and these are the worst performing classes if you see diaper maybe sunglasses these are not available in coco so but the animals if you see red panda we don't know maybe it is a bear category is available bear will give me this one and then fox will give me this right tiger category will give me this like this so animals have lot of resemblance if it is a dog it can be german shepherd or it can be a siberian husker anything right so the box prediction also should be fine for the animals whereas for the other classes like this the box prediction is worst so overall across the total 9000 classes it got almost 20 map score for 9000 classes 20 map is very big number but if you consider the objects which are not in the coco dataset for those map is less 16 map as i mentioned best performing classes are animals and the worst performing are actually apparels so this is all about yolo 9000 object detector hope you have enjoyed the video please subscribe to my channel for more videos in our next video we will dive into yolo v3 the next version of yolo thank you